Hey guys, this is Nova One Winged Angel here. Right now, with a very um, interesting video here, I'm going to unbox the K95. No, I'm joking. I'm actually gonna unbox it. I actually have a K95 right here in the box. Um, and you're wondering, or should be wondering, um, Nova, why'd you buy another K95? Well, I actually didn't. I have mine still right here. So yeah, I didn't actually buy another one. But I'm actually RMAing this keyboard. Let me show you why. If we turn on the LEDs, that's the brightest setting. Um, you see this letter right here? Yeah, the LED's not working. And this letter right here, the LED's not working. And I think this Windows key is supposed to be lit up right here, and it's not. It looks lit up, but it's not as bright as the other ones. But it's not lit up at all. It's probably just a camera. And maybe there's other ones that I'm just not like seeing or something, but I'm sure there's more. But I'm actually not going to do an unboxing um, because I already did one. If you guys want to see that unboxing, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, let me go ahead and put this back. There we go. And I'm not doing an unboxing. What I'm doing is talking about the Corsair um, K95 and pretty much my review about it or in regards to it. So here's a little story. Um, I bought a K95 exactly when it came out. I was stalking the keyboard and then BAM! As soon as it came out, I had it ordered and my order was able to clutch and become one of the first set K95 keyboards that were released and um and I was very happy about that so I got it right away and it was very awesome and then I was like oh my god that was my first wired keyboard solution that was geared for gaming I had other wired keyboards but it's it's not even no this is my first gaming keyboard so I was very excited and of course I was I was more than impressed um because obviously it's just like the first experience you're like oh my god like crazy right so yeah so it was pretty awesome the LEDs I was like ew and um i got it with the, the m65 mouse and then it was a it was like a whole new experience for me so my gaming improves dramatically even competitively like with call of duty and stuff other fps games uh, it's it's yeah I gotta, you gotta get a gaming keyboard it's just it makes your game so much better like you just you, you're so much more better like there's more better so much better with this kind of hardware it's a little pricey but it's definitely worth it um to improve your gaming but now let me actually get a review about the corsair candy 5 as an experience so this is gonna be my third keyboard i've already made two keyboards already so it's gonna be my third one in less than two years and i've never had uh any other issues except led so i'm not gonna be totally unfair um so yeah so um the leds just go out and um i expect that I ex first, I mean, it sounds like LED is such a trivial issue, and it is, but it shouldn't be for Corsair. Corsair has to be held up to its standard, and it, it sets its standard as one of the best um, in, uh, for gaming in the industry when it comes down to all the kind of stuff they sell, whether it be an SSD, or it could be a power supply, or what have you, or RAM, the Dominator RAM, whatever. They, tr they try to be the best. So, uh, for LEDs to fail that frequently, it's... Eh, like it's not good it's maybe once a eh, it just so happens to get a bad one but twice it's a little iffy and then i, I I'm, I'm pretty much almost certain like i'm pretty much almost like for sure like for sure uh sure that this is gonna happen again with this keyboard in within less than a year but whatever i mean leds are not a big deal to me because i don't really use them but when i realize that one's dead it pisses me off it like irks me so i have to arm it so i've went through this is my third keyboard it's in the box i'm not gonna open it right now i'm not gonna open it at all actually because i already did an unboxing like i said earlier so check that out in the description below but yes my experience with corsair keyboards have been not as great as i would hope it would be um, so uh, by that I mean pretty much the RMA. That's the, my only down. But I'll tell you guys, I'll, I'll I'll fix that for you guys in the bell. I'll tell you exactly um, how that's alleviated. So the RMA thing. The first time I RMA, I didn't know there was an Express option, and an Express pretty much means they'll charge your credit card like you bought another keyboard, but they'll send you it and then they'll take off the charge as soon as you send them back their keyboard. So that's awesome. Um, but I didn't know they had that, so I actually paid for the packaging and all that. And blah blah and then um and then i sent it to them and then they sent me one back which was cool but it took a while and then you don't have a keyboard or or i did it for because i had like a wireless keyboard i could just plug and play but you particularly for people that don't have extras it would be a great hassle so the express feature was pretty cool but i found that out later so then blah my first time i didn't express 
So it was pretty tedious and it was it was lame getting back into wired, um, wireless solutions because it just was not as responsive, plain and simple. Now I got the express feature. So they sent me this one ahead of time. So I'm gonna send back mine and they're gonna remove the charge. That's amazing because I have no downtime and I get a brand new keyboard and um, yeah, it's just a quick exchange. But it's still inconvenient to have to handle all that. It's still kind of like, bro, like your keyboard shouldn't be failing that often because you do have, I think it's a two year replacement warranty. So uh, it really should not be like that. It should be like, it should last, the LED should last at least over a year. You know what I mean? Uh, but I, I have, I have this is my third one in two years. So it's kind of like, like every seven months, that's roughly, I don't even know because my LEDs might have died way before that just didn't realize it until I turned them on. So it's what I'm saying is like, ugh, and it shouldn't be happening for Corsair. So what I would recommend for anyone that's trying to get into um, gaming uh, and and it's annoyed by little things like that once they realize them, um, don't get an LED keyboard. Uh, LEDs just for flash, it's not, it doesn't really help out your gaming much, at least it hasn't helped me. So, because I am accurate with my keyboard, I don't need the lights to tell me what letter to press. So what I recommend is get a non-LED keyboard, just pretty much one that's geared for gaming, you know, mechanical keyboard. But don't get LEDs because LEDs are a major point of failure. So don't get LEDs because it's really annoying having to replace your keyboard. Other than that, the Corsair keyboard is pretty magnificent. Everything works, like all the macros and all that good stuff. Yeah, the Candy 5 is really good. Everything, no, no key fails, everything just punches fast, no matter how fast I go, no matter how many letters I push like really fast consecutively, it does it all. It's really, it's a really great keyboard, but my experience with the RMA, it's, I, I just didn't expect it to fail like that. Um, and uh, I don't normally get parts that fail that often. So then when I do, it's kind of like a big deal to me. So that's what I think. But other than that, the Express replacement and all that, it's pretty, pretty legit guys. Really, really legit. So. My overall review of the Corsair K95 is an 8 out of 10. And um, yeah, so an 8 out of 10 non-fanboy, but a 9 out of 10 fanboy. So what I, what I mean by that is that I'm a big fan of Corsair, but I'm trying to be unbiased, so I will judge it harsher because I know I'm inclined not to. So my realistic score after I get rid of some of the bias is going to be an 8. But if I'm actually... If I actually keep in mind all the good Corsair does and how reliable their parts are overall, then I'm gonna give it a nine as a, yeah. But that's more of a company thing, not really a, the exact product thing. But exact product would be eight. And yeah, it's pretty good. Would I buy it again? Probably, um, probably I would because I really like the keyboard. But I mean, the LEDs are just kind of like, you know, it depends. If I were to find a really amazing keyboard that Corsair does without any LEDs, like that'd be perfect. But the LEDs are kind of what makes the keyboard, like the gaming keyboard look awesome, you know? So it's just kind of like, you just cannot be without LEDs, but I mean, that's just my opinion. If someone out there is cool without LEDs, like some people don't care about aesthetics, hey, you know, whatever. Just don't get LEDs. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's been Nova One Winged Angel here. That's my opinion on the K95 and my experience. Um, if you guys have different experiences, you've got your keyboard, literally LEDs all perfect, just let me know in the comment section below because it hasn't happened for me and it upsets me. But um, yeah, we can talk about it, talk about what we like, blah. Just, you know, let me know in the comments. It's been Nova One Winged Angel here, and I'm out for now.